Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Richard III and today we get to hear from Lady Anne. Hooray, a woman. Uh, Lady Anne is the daughter of the Earl of Warwick. Remember Richard said that he's going to woo the youngest daughter of the Earl of Warwick. She also was married to Edward, the Prince of Lancaster, who Richard helped kill at the end of Henry VI Part Three. And also remember Richard killed Henry VI at the end of Henry VI Part Three. So we start this scene off with Henry VI's body like being brought in in a coffin. This is his funeral procession, but it's a pretty sad procession because she's the only person mourning him. So it's like the pallbearers with the coffin and then Lady Anne following behind. Um, and she says to them, sit down, sit down your honorable load, if honor may be shrouded in hers. Whilst I a while obsequiously lament the untimely fall of virtuous Lancaster. Poor key cold figure of a holy king. Pale ashes of the house of Lancaster. Thou bloodless remnant of that royal blood. Be it lawful that I invocate thy ghost to hear the lamentations of poor Anne, wife to thy Edward, to thy slaughtered son, stabbed by the selfsame hand that made these wounds. Lo, oh, in these windows that let forth thy life, I pour the helpless balm of my poor eyes. Oh, Cursed be the hand that made these holes. Cursed the heart that had the heart to do it. Cursed the blood that let this blood from hence. More direful hap betide that hated wretch that makes us wretched by the death of thee than I can wish to wolves, to spiders, toads, or any creeping venomed thing that lives. If ever he have child, abortive be it, prodigious and untimely brought to light, whose ugly and unnatural aspect may fright the hopeful mother at the view, and that be heir to his unhappiness. If ever he have wife, let her be made more miserable by the death of him than I am made by my long young lord and thee. Come now towards Chertsey with your holy load, taken from Paul's to be interred there. And still as you are weary of this weight, rest you whilst I lament King Henry's course. She's eulogizing him. She's eulogizing King Henry. She, she loved King Henry, she loved her husband, and she is furious that he's dead and that Richard killed him is basically what this boils down to. Uh, she starts out, she tells the pallbearers to put the coffin down so that she can mourn for a minute, and, and she does. She she pays her tribute, and she she wants to be able to talk to his ghost, and she wants her tears to, you know, bring him back to life or, or revitalize him or, or show some sort of respect to that sort of a thing. But then, she's, then she starts in on her absolute hatred of Richard. She curses him. She says that she wishes that if he ever has a kid, that the kid is ugly and deformed and the source of all sorts of misery. And that if he ever has a wife, that she makes him even more miserable than Lady Anne is right now in mourning both her husband and uh, King Henry. So she, she, she hates him so much the fi the fla the fla flames flames on the sides of her face it, she she hates Richard <laughs> is is what this boils down to so guess what happens she tells the guys to pick the the coffin up so they can continue on the way so he can be interred in St Paul's Cathedral and Richard shows up we'll get more into that conversation tomorrow I'll see you then. Mwah.